So this is sort of a very special Saturday Superlatives, and it's my Senior Bowl Saturday Superlatives, say that three times fast. And uh, all this past practice week at Mobile, a few names have come up, and some of those names continued to shine as the game rolled around. Uh, Perrion Winfrey, the defensive tackle from Oklahoma, continued to flash all the things you look for from a starting three technique at the next level. Uh, very tremendous penetration and explosiveness, the ability to shed blocks, the ability to shoot gaps, and even at times to hold up against a blocker if he had to or, or hold his gap. But he's clearly more of a penetrator than he is, you know, he's not, he's not a two-gapper by nature. But someone who could be a two-gapper by nature is Travis Jones, the big sort of one, two to zero tech from uh, uh, Connecticut. Very big man, but also really athletic and showed tremendous power. And I sort of thought of him as a more explosive version of former Jet and former Temple uh, defensive tackle, Muhammad Wilkerson. I think he's going to have a very solid career at the next level, eight to 10 years, and a guy that might maybe make one or two Pro Bowls. Uh, moving to the linebacker position, Chad Moma uh, showed some things, uh, flashed at times. It wasn't an amazing linebacker group, but the other one that, that caught my attention both uh, showed up in practices and then showed up in the game is Darion Beavers. And this wasn't the kind of game that let him show off what he does best, and he was being used in a way that's probably not his ideal way to be used, but he could really fit into you know, a classic 3-4, like the old school Blitzburg kind of offense where they had guys like Chad Brown. He sort of fits into that kind of mold. Uh, once again, a guy you can cover a little bit, show what he can move, but his best usage is coming downhill and obviously rushing the passer. Uh, moving to the defensive backs, Jalen Petrie had a great week of practice and it just continued. I think he can play in the nickel. I mean, I think that's what he is, is a nickel, but he can also play probably both safety positions. He's big and strong enough that he can hold up if you ask him to come down in the box, but he can cover really well. He can cover in the slot, he can cover tight ends, he can cover running backs. Tremendous player, and he really helped himself. I think that probably of all the defensive backs, he's the one who helped himself the most. Uh, someone who didn't show up so much in the game, but she should remember his name because I think he's going to have a truly ridiculous combine. Look out for Tyreek Woolen from UTSA. Uh, he's 6'3 three and 3'8, three 205 pounds. He clocked in at one point during a practice at 22.45 miles an hour. He has a tremendous track background. He's big, strong, and fast. And teams that love that sort of Seattle corner type are just going to go goo goo gaga for him when he shows what he can do at the combine. I'm going to talk about offensive players next. <laughs> 